Hey Ross World, my money makes money. And today we're gonna to focus on the DOD blended retirement system, really focusing on those guys, those men and women in uniform. Today I have a special guest, his name is Kyle McFarlane, and he knows the details, the in and outs about the DOD blended retirement system. We're not gonna go into vivid detail, but we're gonna go into meat and potatoes of this particular program. So if you have any friends, families, or even yourself, this DOD retirement system seems to be pretty good. So without further ado, here's Kyle McFarlane. Hey everybody, as Ross said, I'm Kyle and I'm here to talk to you today about the DOD's new program, the blended retirement system. So the reason the DOD went to a blended retirement system instead of keeping the one it was currently on is that 81% of those currently serving will not get any retirement benefits. So that's a lot of people who serve which leave with nothing. The blended retirement system is a program that allows everyone, nearly 85% of those that are gonna be under the blended retirement system will have some sort of tangible retirement benefit when they leave service as long as they do at least two years, okay? The, to be eligible for the blended retirement system, you have to have less than 12 years active service time as of 31 December 2017. If you have more than that, you're gonna be on the high three retirement system, which is what you're currently on, okay? If you are eligible, there is a specified opt-in window, and that is from January 31st of 2018 to December 31st of 2018. That is it. You must make your decision in that time period. If you are currently under the high three system and you are eligible to opt in, and you do not, you will stay on the high three system. You're automatically grandfathered into the high three. So if you wanna take advantage of the benefits of the blended retirement system, you must opt in in that time frame. Once you make that decision, it is irrevocable. No going back. So be, think long and hard about your unique situation before you make that decision. The current system so we have a frame of reference, is the high three, which means it takes your highest three years of base pay multiplied by two and a half percent times the number of years served. You must do 20 years to get this benefit. Now, if you do 20 years and get out, you get 50% of your base pay every month for the rest of your life. Okay, the blended retirement system has something similar to this, not the same, and some other features that we're about to go into. So the new blended retirement system takes part of the high three and part of the civilian sector 401k and merges them together. So the biggest con about the blended retirement system as opposed to the high three is that monthly annuity. Currently under the high three system, it is two and a half percent times year served. Under the blended retirement system, it is 2% times year served. It's only half a percent, but it can add up to big money when you start adding it up over the long run. So at 20 years, if you retire, instead of getting 50% of your base pay, you're gonna get 40% of your base pay. Now, the blended retirement system has that downside, but it's also got a lot of pros to it. One of the biggest pros is nearly 85% of those that are gonna serve under it will take some sort of tangible benefit with them. There's an automatic 1% contribution every month of your base pay. Government will match up to 5% of your contributions, which is free money. There's a lump sum option for those who do 20 years and retire. And then there's also the mid-career continuation pay benefit. So the automatic contribution is 1% of your base pay every month added into your TSP. If you opt into the new system, that 1% contribution takes effect immediately. So the pay period after you opt in, you start getting your money. If you are a new recruit after January 1st of 2018, it's gonna be 60 days after your pay entry basic date, when you leave MEPS, that's when you're gonna start getting your 1% contribution. The matching portion is fantastic. It's my second favorite benefit of this new system because it's free money. 
if you opt into the system, the government will match your contributions immediately, that pay period after you choose to opt in. If you're a new recruit, you have to wait two years before they will start matching your contributions. You can still put in money and you'll still get that 1% after 60 days, but they won't match if you're a new person until after two years of service. So the way it matches is it's tiered based off how much you contribute into your account. If you contribute 0%, they're not gonna match anything, but you're gonna get 1% contribution to your account. If you add in just 1%, they'll match that 1%, you get your 1% automatic for 3% going into your retirement account every month. If you put in 2%, they're gonna match that same two, add in the 1% for a total of 5%. If you put in 3%, they're gonna match that full three they're gonna give you that 1% automatic, so you're getting 7%. If you put in 4%, they, sh they cut down what they're matching here, and they're only gonna match 3.5% plus that 1% automatic for an 8.5% into your account. If you match five, or if you contribute 5%, they'll match 4% plus the 1% automatic for a total of 10%. Now, mind you, that's 10% because they're only matching 4%, okay? Now, it's important to note that all government contributions going into the TSP will go into a traditional TSP. They cannot be switched to a Roth TSP, okay? That's very important for tax purposes later on. You can choose where your contribution goes to a Roth or traditional TSP, but all of those contributions, both matching and automatic, are going to go in and stay in a traditional TSP. It's important also to know about vesting in this, uh, when we're talking about these contributions. Vesting is a term of ownership. It's when does the money actually belong to you? And there's two different phases here. If you opt in to the blended retirement system, you're immediately vested into all contributions. If you're a new recruit after January 1st of 2018, you're going to be vested after two years, okay? So if you opt in, everything that the government contributes, if you leave at 15 years, everything you put in for the, that time period is gonna be yours to keep. If you are a new recruit, you're, those first two years, granted you're only getting that 1%, but when they start matching at two years, you will keep all of those 24 months of government contributions. They're yours to keep and take with you. And that's, the, that's one of the big keys between this system and the old system, is that you don't have to do 20 years to get a benefit. This is what's important for that 81% of service members who don't plan on making the military a career. One of the other benefits of the blended retirement system is something called continuation pay. Now this is a, a tool that Congress has allowed DOD to use to try and retain the force. It is not a re-enlistment bonus, it is not a retention bonus, it's similar to one, but it's it can be taken in addition to uh, any re-enlistment incentives you get. Now this payable between eight and 12 years of service, it's between two and a half times and 13 times of your monthly base pay. What you're going to get depends on your MOS or your your occupational specialty and the branch you're on and the needs of your specific branch okay it's not a one-size-fits-all it's unique to every situation in order to get this continuation pay you must agree to remain on active duty for three years okay it's not a re-enlistment if you already have three years left on your contract no big deal the money's yours to keep you don't have to add anything extra because it can be served concurrently with any other contract that you have. You also don't have to do all 20 years to get this money. You only have to do those three years after you're paid. Okay, the last major pro of the blended retirement system is my personal favorite, and that's the lump sum option at retirement. Mind you, this option or this benefit is only available to those who do a full 20 years and actually retire. So 
The way this works is when you come to retire and you're 90 days out, you can choose whether you wanna get your full annuity payment, that 40 plus percent a month, every month for the rest of your life, or do you want a nice big fat check of your future earnings at a discounted rate, which I'll explain, until you're 67. Once you turn 67, then you get all that money back. The lump sum options are 25% and 50% at a discounted rate. The discounted rate is the government giving themselves a benefit because they're paying you up front, okay? For 2017, it is 6.99% or nearly 7%. And what percent it's gonna be when you go to retire will be published every year because it's gonna change. And that number comes from the Department of Treasury and their market value. So I'm gonna give you an example with actual numbers so you can kind of see what this is talking about, okay? so. For this example, you retire at 20 years and you're 40 years old. Your base pay, or that 40% of your base pay, your monthly annuity, is gonna be $2,000. $2,000 a month, every month for a year is 24 grand. Now, that 24 grand times 27 years, which is when you retire to your fully retirement at 67 for social security purposes, that's what they take into account for those future earnings to give you the lump sum on. That 24 grand times 27 is $648,000 in future earnings based off of your retirement. If you choose to take the 50% lump sum, mind you it's not 50%, in actuality it's just over 43% because Uncle Sam is giving himself a discount. So 50% is $324,000, that 7%, 6.99%, comes out to $22,647. It's a nice, nice little chunk that they save themselves, but you're still getting a large amount of money that you can do what you want with, okay? So if you choose the 50% lump sum in this example, you get a lump sum of $301,000 within 60 days of your retirement. Now, granted, your monthly annuity until you turn 67 is gonna be reduced by 50%, not discounted, reduced to $1,000 per month. If you take a 25% lump sum, your monthly annuity will be uh, $1,500 and you'll get a slightly less than half of that lump sum because you're only getting that 18%. It is important to note that this lump sum option is earned income, which is very important for your taxes, okay? If you get 300 grand in a year, a lot of that is gonna go into taxes. So you have the option of taking it in four annual installments, you, it can only be up to four, and that way it reduces your tax burden on that money. You're still gonna pay a good amount of taxes on it, but it's not gonna be as much as if you took it all at once, okay? The DOD is putting out a lot of good information to service members and recruits coming in to make them aware of the benefits of our benefits and differences of the blended retirement system and the high three. Okay, if you want to go get a lot of information, go to militarypay.defense.gov slash blended retirement or just Google blended retirement system and go to the .gov site. There's a lot of infographics there. There's TSP frequently asked questions. There's blended retirement system frequently asked questions. If you have a question, the answer will be there somewhere. A lot of good, clear, concise information to help you make an informed decision. Thanks. So that was Kyle with all the details and particulars of the DOD blended retirement system. Now, the link that he gave out will be in the description for you to reference for your own. This is Ross World where retirement is very important and you have options for you to decide. Whether you're a civilian, but this is mainly for those in uniform. I'm out.